I didn't think I'd be emotional. Boy, Bailey. You just look amazing. Wyatt, that suit on you? What a handsome young man. Aren't they a beautiful couple? So beautiful. Well, what a great day. I know the wind's blowing a little bit and making things exciting, but uh, I can't imagine a more beautiful setting for the two of you as much as you love the outdoors being here together. I hope you can hear me okay. Are we okay for sound? Welcome, everybody. Welcome to this beautiful way. We are so pleased and grateful to be gathered here together to celebrate the union of this beautiful couple, Wyatt and Bailey. It's a wonderful afternoon, fitting for an outdoor wedding. We have come here to share in this ceremony to witness the commitment that Wyatt and Bailey will make to one another. To offer our love and support to their union and to allow them to start their married lives surrounded by loved ones that will support them in their marriage. It's no accident that each of us are here today. Each of us are here because we represent someone important to the individual and collective lives of Wyatt and Bailey. We acknowledge Wyatt's parents, Jason and Jane, Crystal and James, Bailey's parents, Eugene and Christy, Bailey's grandparents, Dave and Denise, we have a special chair reserved for Wyatt's grandfather, Keith. While not with us physically, we know that he is here with us in spirit, along with others beyond the veil. We acknowledge Amy and Jody, who have helped Wyatt through his teenage years. We acknowledge these beautiful bridesmaids and groomsmen. Pretty handsome bunch. You guys look good. We acknowledge all of you for your positive and loving support of our happy couple. The most remarkable moment in life is when we meet the person who makes us feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure, so wonderful, that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. In speaking to Wyatt and Bailey, I appreciate the special connection that they share. Both of them remarked at how they loved, loved to spend time in the mountains, camping, exploring, talking, sharing dreams of the future, and even just discussing what the day's events held. Bailey said, she instantly felt special in Wyatt's presence. He has a genuine concern for her well-being. He is very kind and thoughtful. Wyatt said he trusts Bailey completely. When he is with her, he wants to be better. He is always thinking about her. They have dreams for the future, grand dreams of a simple life, an abundant life, in a small town with children, trust, and friendship. As we are gathered here today, Wyatt and Bailey would like to share their vows of marriage. This promise is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. 
I now invite the bride and groom to share their vows to each other in the presence of all of us. Bailey, I take you to be my best friend, my partner in life, and my one true love. I vow to comfort, encourage, and inspire you each day for the rest of my life. I will forever be there to laugh with you, to lift you up when you are down, and to love you unconditionally. Through all the adventures of our life together, you are my love, my happiness, my everything. I love you, babe. Wyatt, you are my best friend, I rock the love of my life. From the moment the first person that I knew we were meant to be each in each other's life forever, even if it was the tender. <laughs> Every day you inspire me to be better and grow with you. Your strength, your kindness for each and every day, and you will not wait to help grow up more. I promise to strengthen you, support you, I promise to listen with love and compassion. I promise to make time for you to be Try not to be too upset when you eat all my chocolate after I fall asleep. I promise to always cherish the love and bond that we share. I promise to laugh with you in the good times and cry with you in the hard. Above all else, I promise to always show you guys where I feel waking up to you and calling to see you next to every single day. You are my best friend and I will love and respect you with all my heart and promise. Now, by the authority vested in me, it is my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss each other. Wait, wait. I'm going to move out of the way. <laughs> now you may kiss. Whoa. There we go. How about a little more applause? <laughs> There's a little bit more to the ceremony. You can't go anywhere yet. There's a little bit more, but we wanted to get a good picture of that kiss. Do they need one more picture for the or kiss for the picture? Or are we okay? Okay. Sorry. That way you can get your one more kiss there. <laughs> we might have another spot here for another kiss. Okay. You guys are married. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. What a great day. Okay, the rings. You ready for your rings? Wyatt and Bailey will now exchange rings as a symbol of love and commitment to each other. I feel like I'm going to move over here so that they can see you guys, not me. I'll just read this and you guys just look at each other. Okay, let's see. Rings are made special by you wearing them. They enhance who you are. They mark the beginning of your long journey together. Your wedding is a circle, a symbol of love never ending. It is a seal of the vows you have just taken to love each other without end. Wyatt, I invite you to place the ring on Bailey's finger and repeat after me. As a sign of my love, that I have chosen you above all others, I give you this ring 
to remind you of this day that we have vowed that our love can overcome all things and will continue to do so for the rest of our lives. Sorry, I probably should have this microphone here. Huh? <laughs> How am I going to do that? Okay, I'll read this. Bailey, please place a ring on wife's finger and repeat after me. As a sign of my love, as a sign of my love, that I have chosen you, that I have chosen you, above all others, above all others, I give you this ring, I give you this ring, to remind you of this day, to remind you of this day, that we have vowed that our love can overcome all things, that we have vowed that our love can overcome all things. And we'll continue to do so for the rest of our lives. And we'll continue to do so for the rest of our lives. That was wonderful when they moved this microphone, and I think we need another kiss. <laughs> yes, go for it. <laughs> Woo! How about some applause? <laughs> That's a good kiss. All right, just a little bit more counsel, and I get, I know you're ready to go. One more little counsel. I've got to, I've been asked to perform this wedding, so I got to say a little bit. All right, here we go. Can I offer a few suggestions for success in your relationship? A couple little points here. Continue to court each other, to seek to make, make each other happy, to listen to each other, be interested in each other. Trust each other. Never, ever, ever lie. Share your dreams. Share your dreams. Be excited for each other's successes. Counsel with each other on decisions. Be tender with each other through disappointments. Be loyal to each other. Never speak ill of each other to family or friends. Love each other fiercely. Have joy in your rejoicing. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Marshall. Please stand. Let's go celebrate.